Hey everyone, I'm Danny, and welcome to Wizardry Workshop. This is Harry Potter Printables, Volume 10. And there are 10 volumes of just random Harry Potter printables. This is going to be the last Harry Potter printables. However, I'm still making Harry Potter replicas, so... Don't worry there, it's just I'm not going to do the random printables anymore. It's going to be more uh, themed and focused things. Like I might do Weasley's Wizard Weezes printables or something. For these videos, I actually do a whole bunch of graphic design. And I know a lot of you guys are designers as well, or just learning how to uh, make your own replicas and stuff like that. So if you find yourself uh, wanting to find some really cool fonts and textures and things like that, one great resource is Creative Fabrica. I've partnered with Creative Fabrica to bring you guys a one month free trial, up to 10 downloads. So I'm really excited because I think you guys are gonna find some pretty cool stuff on there. They have like over 6 million fonts and designs and textures and things that you can use in any way you want. You can even use them commercially. After one month or after 10 downloads, the subscription will renew, but it's only $9 a month and you get access to 6 million resources. You can cancel anytime, no questions asked. It's the perfect way to support Wizardry Workshop and get access to just a ton of design resources. I've also linked some of my hand-picked fonts and textures from Creative Fabrica in the description box. So if you want to see the specific ones that I really like and that I'm going to use in my designs, you can check out those specific links in the description box below. I also have a, a link down there to my personal Creative Fabrica landing page where you can uh, take advantage of your free trial. There are a total of six designs in this final Harry Potter printables design pack. Check out the description box below for links to all the supplies I used to make this DIY, as well as the free downloadable templates. And let's get started. The first item we're going to make is this night bus fare sheet. It's kind of like a poster you might see hanging in or around the night bus. And it tells you the different uh, packages you can get basically cheap ticket silver ticket gold ticket and diamond ticket so it is double-sided and it, I just made it kind of look like there was some bleed through but of course there's not because this was printed with a laser printer this is printed on just regular printer paper that's 11 by 17 inches I also have a version that is basically cut into two regular sheets of paper which is half of this and basically you just print those out and and attach them together to make it bigger if you want or you could just print this scaled down. To cut this out, you could use a paper cutter or uh, scissors, I guess. I, I would have advise against that. I like to use a ruler and X-Acto knife because then you know that you're doing it very precisely and you're not gonna accidentally have some of that white on there. And once it's all done, it should look like this. Next, we will do uh, Gringotts checks and also Gringotts deposit slips. For these, I'm gonna use my paper cutter just because there are so many different cuts to do. I figure this will be a little bit faster. And you can still get very precise with this. I just feel that you don't have quite as much control as when you use a ruler and X-Acto knife. When you're all done, you should have six of each. Each page has six on them and the check should look like this. And the deposit slip should look like this. Next up, we have this Ministry of Magic advisory about the Death Eaters. This would be something that's just kind of like hanging up somewhere in the wizarding world, just letting people know the Death Eaters are here. This is on 11 by 17 paper. Again, double-sided with that artificial bleed through. I envision this being printed even bigger than this, but uh, this is as big as I could print from home. When you're done, it should look like this. And the next thing we have are these Hogwarts Express luggage tags or luggage labels. It's on eight and a half by 11 paper, so normal size paper for this one. This one is actually single sided because I envision it more like a sticker and it doesn't matter what's on the back. This is actually a circle 
that you could cut, cut out with scissors. However, I also included a Cricut version. So this has the bleed area around, as you can see. Um, and then I had my Cricut cut these out on sticker paper. And then you should be able to just go ahead and peel it right off. You can stick them on your luggage if you want, or just like somewhere on a notebook or something might look cool. What I'm going to do though is trim off the white and then I'll cut them right down the middle and then I can cut them into um, individual stickers. And these are going to be like party favors or something that you can give out to friends or like whatever you want to do. But I thought these would be really cool as little party favors. When you're all done, you should have six Hogwarts Express luggage stickers. And then the very last thing we have is Dumbledore's obituary. The cool thing about this one is, so it's a little hard to read, but it is fully readable. And when it's all cut out, it should just look like this. And it is also printed double-sided with a little bit of bleed through. I did have to um, repeat some of this, uh, some of the text because it didn't quite fill up the whole page, but it is fully readable and it is this actual article. And that is everything for Harry Potter Easy Printables Volume 10. Pretty easy, pretty much just print and cut. Let me know what your favorite printable was in this video down in the comments section below. If you've made it all the way to the end of the video with me, you're a wizard Harry. Give the video a thumbs up down below if you did like it. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe for more Harry Potter DIYs. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.